Hello, I'm making this video for a customer who just got her Saint palette and I'm using exactly the products that she purchased, nothing more, nothing less, but I think it'll help everybody. And if you have purchased Saint from me, I'd be happy to do this for you as well. So here is her palette, only a little more used. And we're gonna start out with Frenchie, which is sort of a peachy lip and cheek, but we're using it as a corrector for under eye circles. So I'm just putting a little tiny bit on my finger and I'm gonna dot that underneath my eyes. It's a very light texture. I'm going in this inner corner also where we can get really blue here. And I'm just patting that out. And it's gonna look a little bit peachy but we're gonna fix it. So this is a good color corrector for blues and purples, which a lot of dark circles tend to be. And then if you uh, are seeing blue or darkness through that, just add a little more on the dark spots, but you wanna blend it in. You're not leaving a really heavy, you know, orange color here. And then we're gonna go on to your darker highlight, which is sandy. And I'm gonna pat that right along the orbital bone under the eye, right on the bone. And that is gonna to help to blend in any indentations or hollows under the eyes. And then I'm just gonna dot it on all over my face. And I'm just using a little tiny bit and you can always add more. It's kind of surprising how little you need. And if you find that uh, it's not lasting through the day, that's a good sign that you need a little more. So I'm putting that mostly on the outside of my face. Now I'm going to that lighter color, Candlelit, and we're gonna put that on the inner corner of the eyes, and I'm gonna go down the side of my nose about halfway and that's just to bring some light and brightness to my face here I'm gonna go in the outer corner and then because you have the Frenchie on I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit on top of there teeny tiny bit when we blend this in uh, it's gonna help cover that and then I'm going to make a sort of upside down triangle with this lighter color right in the middle of my forehead. And I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose, right in the center between my nose and my upper lip, and the dot underneath uh, my lip here. And then I'm going to take that powder brush that you have, but the bigger end I'm gonna to use to start padding in the foundation. So I'm patting and in slow motion, I'm just doing this. I'm not swirling or swiping and this is going to blend it all in. And it's okay if you, you know, move into the lighter color. These colors blend in very easily. So in the winter time, if you lose your tan and you're finding your skin's a little bit lighter, you'll blend in a little bit more of that lighter candlelit color into your face. And that will, you know, always keep your skin color right. If you get really significantly lighter, you might need a new shade in the winter. I'm gonna flip to this end now and get around the eyes. I'm just gently patting in here. in a mirror make sure I've got all that peachy color corrector covered up and I do and then if there's anything else you need to cover just take your brush go ahead and dip it back into uh, the sandy if it's on the outside of your face or if it's something under the eyes you'll dip it into your candlelit and just add a little bit more This customer has beautifully sculpted cheekbones already, so she does not want to add contour to her face, but she bought contour to use for eyebrows. So we're taking the line brush 
and we're gonna dip it into that contour. <laughs> I'm gonna look in my mirror rather than my phone for this and just very quickly brush that through to fill in the brows. Flip the brush. And then same on the other side. And then if you make any bit of a, a mess or you go outside the lines, just pick up your brush. You don't even have to go back into your product and just sort of tap along the brows to clean up any mess you might have made. So this customer brought three of our cream shadows. We have four. So you're gonna take your smudge brush and there's one end is a bit smaller and is a pencil end. The other is a bit wider. Taking that wider end into the lightest color tangled and I'm just gonna put that on my lid. And I'm going into the crease here because uh, when you have really deep set eyes, we don't want to darken the crease. We wanna lighten it just to bring it forward. Then our medium color here, the medium brown, I'm going to go in with that other end. And I'm gonna put that sort of on the outer third of my eyelids. So this is kind of a nice golden brown color. And I'm just sticking to the outside here. And I'm kind of going in a sideways V. And because of her deep set eyes, and I have also deep set eyes, we're not darkening that crease, not going in there with this. So I'm just sticking to the outer edge. I still want drama, I just don't want to darken the crease. I'm gonna put that right underneath my eye instead of liner here, just to get a little color without bringing any darkness under my eye. Now, the darkest color, you could go like this. If you want a little more drama, we'll add a little bit of the darker color. So swirling that into my brush. And again, going in that, just the very outer corner in a kind of sort of sideways V. I put a lot on my brush there and I'm just blending in just to show you that you can make it uh, good for day or night. And I've made a bit of a mess here. I, I usually do my eyeshadow first, uh, but I know you said you like to do it last. So I'm going back in here with the part of my brush I use for my eyes, going into that lighter candlelit color, and I'm just gonna tap along and clean that up and it's so easy to do okay so we have our eyes you can add eyeliner mascara if you now we'll go on to cheeks and lips and you have three colors you have madrid summer love and venice so we will put madrid on the cheeks so the madrid is a more of a matte shade I'm gonna use the blend brush that you bought the bigger end and just tap, 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 just getting a little bit on the end and putting that on my cheekbone, keeping it mostly up high. Uh, you do have really nice sculpted cheekbones, so you can just fo follow the contours of your face. And I like to go around the temple a bit just to get a little more color there, maybe even a bridge of my nose right here. And that's a really nice color just for fun. I'm gonna add a little summer love just so you can see it. So you can use one or the other. You could blend two, you can even blend all three. They all blend seamlessly. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of that for something different. You also have rose gold illuminator and that's a, a very subtle shimmer. Using the small end of this brush, tap it in and that's just gonna go right on the bone, way up high. And then I'm also gonna put that in my cupid's bow. And I like this up here above the brow for our deep set eyes rather than under the brow. And then I wanna just kinda make sure that's blended. 
And then we'll use Venice on the lips. I'm taking my lip brush. You can also use your fingers. And that is a very pretty color. You can also mix and match these colors on your lips. If you want, you could add a little bit of that rose gold right in the center to give yourself a little more of a full lip look. Last but not least is to go over everything with a sponge. I sprayed my sponge with some hydrating spray, but it's you would hardly know it. It's almost dry. And I'm just going to kind of roll that all over to smooth everything out and make sure there's nothing sticking in my pores or my lines. And I do have wrinkles. I find that I need to do this twice just to be safe, especially under the eyes, around the mouth. And one tip you can do is sort of lift your skin so you can really uh, expose the wrinkle and get everything out. And then I would look in a magnifying mirror, make sure I didn't miss anything. And voila, there you are. Let me know if you have any questions. And if anyone else has purchased Saint for me and you want me to make a video out of your palette, I'd be very happy to do that. Have a great day. Bye-bye.